Thank you so much, Nick, for that introduction. I'm the youngest of six children, last in a series of miscarriages and difficult pregnancies. My twin was lost in utero. I entered this world without him. The curse of loneliness took his place. Growing up, I didn't have the father I needed. I needed someone to spend time with me. I needed someone to help me translate my emotions into words. I needed someone to help me find my interests and find my purpose. I felt alone. I needed a true father. Growing up, screaming was common in our home. I became callous to the shouting and arguments until that night in September. Something was different this time. The voice is louder. The accusation sharper. My parents' voices morphed into the shrieks resembling an injured animal. Like a branch carrying too much weight, my father reached his breaking point and he snapped. Creak. The screen door opened and was followed by a loud as my father slammed the wooden frame against the grungy door jam. Rushing to the car, my father yelled something back at my mother. As if he was using the car to make a point, he stomped on the gas. The station wagon lurched hard as he tore out, of the, tore out of the driveway. As his tires screeched against the pavement that day, they screamed a warning the neighbors could see for months. Wally always runs away! Is this how husbands are supposed to act? Is this what fathers are supposed to do? Nine months later, my father returned. By then, the damage was done. There was no repair kit. I resented my father. I didn't want to be like him. I avoided him as much as I could. I wanted nothing to do with him. The scars he left in my soul made me feel like an outcast. I was different. Even with my brothers and sisters around me, I felt alone. As a child, it wasn't unusual to see me in the corner or under my bed, crying my eyes out. No matter of talking could pull me away from my sadness. I was as unmovable as the hammer in Marvel's door. Shame haunted me like a ghost. Whispers haunted me. You're the reason your family's messed up. I doubted that I would succeed in life, much less become a father. If I had kids one day, what kind of father would I be? Would I continue the cycle? Years later, I realized I was like a sparrow in a tornado. I was being swung around storm clothes that followed my parents everywhere they went. I met my soulmate when I was 20. I helped her when she needed rides back and forth to work. She helped heal my loneliness. We were as happy as a, married, as a military couple could be. As I was just a cog in a system, subject to the whims of whatever, of whoever was in command. Half a lifetime married to Stacy, and two boys later, I was just surviving. The sky wasn't as blue and the grass not as green. Eventually, a situation at work caused me to embark on a journey for my mental health. One day, the counselor started peeling back my past like the layers of a rotten onion. He asked me to imagine my young, vulnerable self before all the problems started. My mission was to deliver a message to that young, innocent boy. With tears like I cried years ago under that blanket, as a 36-year-old man, I gave a message little me wouldn't understand. You're not your father. You're not your father. You are not your father. I never revisited my past to relive, to relive those hurtful moments with me as an adult. Session after session, I'd leave feeling like I had an emotional seizure. As I began to heal from four decades of hurts, I wasn't my normal, detached, and sad self. The sun became brighter, colors more vibrant. Music became like a car steering my emotions. I learned that when I mess up, I need to acknowledge, apologize, learn from it, and move on. I repaired the part of my family's foundation I unknowingly damaged. 
I drew my family together. I became the husband my wife needed me to be. I became the father my boys needed me to be. Now, I help them express their emotions, explore their interests, and seek their purpose. Our foundation feels like it's tested often, but because the repairs were solid, now my family is too. I've made the decision to take my place like a pillar beside my wife, supporting her and protecting what we built. I'm breaking the cycle. Why? Because I am not my father.